Holding parents accountable when their kids don't go to school. One city wants to get tough on truancy. Hi everybody, again, glad you're with us tonight. Keith and Ann are off. It is a pretty aggressive plan that is stirring up strong and mixed emotions. It's a community that struggles to keep kids in class. So now they want parents to pay for their kids not going to school. News 8's Bob Wilson is live with that story tonight. Bob? Well, this is all happening as students are getting ready to go back to school, or are they? If you had to guess, just think about it. Take a guess. What do you think the truancy rate is for students here at New Britain High School? According to the superintendent's office, 40 Eight percent. That's chronically truant, according to the office. Now, what I want to show you: the school's right there. Just it, this is property is just out of view of the security cameras. And you can see there's graffiti on the wall here, graffiti on the wall here. There's another wall. They had to paint over all the swear words that were written across the top of their wall. They say there's trash all along these walls. Two major fights have broken out across the street from this area right here. The parents of this area say they're fed up with the truancy. They see kids out there dealing drugs. They need to be in school. That's the law, and they're for this. They say $75 fine to students who are caught out on the street. They say it will go against them, and if they can't afford it, maybe they'll bring in some community service. Either way, they need to do something. Hit them where it hurts and get the kids back in school. I don't think it's extreme because if the parent knows that their child is skipping, and knows that their child is not being in school, not doing anything about it, then they need to pay the money. And maybe it'll wake them up because now they're going to make their child go to school and stop roaming the streets and doing things that they're not supposed to be doing during the day and get an education. And a lot of the people around here, we talked to a gentleman just right over here. He said $75 is a lot of money. Maybe they could come up with something else. But the point is, the new superintendent, he's been around for a month. He says, you know, they had this in Texas. It worked in Texas. It was $75 fine. It has to be significant to let the parents and the students know they are serious about truancy. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live into Britain, News 8.